Hello, this is Perry Mank, and it is Thursday, August 27th at about 4.11 in, in the afternoon. And again, I'm, you know, I don't have rights, as we would think here in the United States. It's still a third world environment. And I'm still not able to get an appointment for Winnie. And I posted on Facebook that ARF sent me, the supervisor, Christine Wong, sent me a, a very, uh, you know, strange and another bizarre, another intentional uh, email back, you know, that's intended to provoke. So what I wanted to talk about, since I haven't um, received any response back from PG&E, either about the bill being so high, I did post that on Facebook today. They charged me like $92, and it's for an increase in the electrical usage, and I'm not doing anything out of really out of the ordinary that it would be that high. It, it was like 300 kilowatts higher than what it would normally be. And, and I still don't have gas for the hot water or for the stovetop. And if it was cold, I don't have hot, um, you know, a, a, the furnace wouldn't work. You know, I, there would be no heat from the furnace, although I do have another appliance that would be sufficient. So what I wanted to talk about is that when you see the, the insidious methods that the government is applying, these methods are taught through the Catholic Church. It's intentional. It is so that you, as a member of the public, do not have rights. Now, you say to yourself, wow, I see all these people driving cars. It looks like there's all range, you know, of people from different economic statuses. Just yesterday when I was out taking the bus and waiting at the bus stop, you can see, you know, out in the parking lot, all different types of vehicles and some cars look like they're very well kept up and washed and new, and the other ones look, you know, older and, and so forth. Well, I'm still not able to have rights. And these women in the government got caught. And these women uh, ruined the legal system. They claim that they're for women's rights, knowing that they're not for women's rights. We didn't know that the general public does not, you know, at that time didn't know that that's what was going on. And through years of strength and courage and bravery, I proved it. I proved that our legal system has been overthrown by Catholics. That's right here in our community in Contra Costa County, California in the San Francisco Bay Area, and it extends out to San Francisco and then to Sacramento and to South Bay as well. Now, unbeknownst to me, they had used what I termed network terrorism, and that is indicated and uh, evidenced in my Part 7 article, Way Beyond Broken. And what they do is they either hack into your device or look at your physical list of friends and family and businesses and all of the people that you would uh, write to, maybe a, like a Christmas list or a birthday list and things like this. And then they start going after those people without you knowing it. They flash their badges and they present themselves as officials, as authoritarians, and the people that are being questioned comply without knowing that it's a setup. And it's a setup to destroy them. It's part of the network terrorism. But they don't know it. And what they're doing is they're actually setting you up so that whether you comply with them at that moment or you 
don't comply with them and you question it and you tell the the legitimate you know legitimately answer them and it's not the response that they want which happened that also happened it happened to me they put you in handcuffs and then they take you away and they charge you with something that you didn't even do so this is reflective of the catholic church and it's provable that they want to take people into custody and torture you for no reason at all except their own. They have no right to do this. This is a third world and the federal government is going along with it and they're not announcing it in the news. They're not uh, publicly explaining to us, giving us warnings so that we can protect ourselves and that it's, they have it either contained or that it stop, stopped, that they have shut down the schools, that they've removed the Catholic people from the government offices, that they've taken the people in the custody that were directly um, related to my case, that there's nothing in the news. So some of the, uh, some of the, the focus that they justify perpetrating this type of terrorism is your personal life. So it has nothing to do with the facts of a case. It has nothing to do with evidence. It has nothing to do with applying our laws. It has to do with them attacking our personal life and then justifying it in their head by illegally uh, interrogating people that we knew and then they claim that that was legitimate. Like, see? That comes from the Holy See. So when, when you hear uh, in public the politicians saying, look now, it, it's related to the Holy See. See? That, that's where it comes from. And it's the lie. It's a, it's a front. It's a facade. So, it, for instance, uh, I'm single and I'm a heterosexual. Well, that's very high on the hit list. So the reason for that is the Catholic Church believes that they are the supreme religion and that females, heterosexual females, are not to procreate unless they are approved by the Catholic Church. So that would be somebody like Nancy Pelosi. That would be somebody like uh, Marianne O'Malley and Nancy O'Malley and that family and the Marcianos and... Uh, there's just a whole list of, you could just keep finding more and more of the Catholics that are allowed to procreate. Now, if you're a recruit, then you are also allowed to have children too. For us in the community, we're being targeted, and it's illegal. It's, it's absolutely illegal according to our Constitution, both federal and state. So one of the things that they attack is that, uh, that the fact that I'm single and that I am living a decent life, that I'm successful, that I'm stable. Okay, so what do I mean by successful? It means that you're stable. It means that you're dependable, reliable, responsible. It means that you are responsible for paying your bills that you know how to uh, maintain your life, that you know how to budget, that you're um, living within your means, that you, uh, you take care of yourself, that you, uh, you are responsible for your uh, health, body, mind, spirit, physically, mentally, emotionally. And so I was very high on the target list. They don't want me on... Um, known or in the community because I don't reflect what they want in society. Now, you would say, well, why do they keep saying that they're so perfect? You know, why do they keep saying that they're so blessed and they're so, uh, you know, why are they so accomplished in their profession? Why are they so recognizable by the media? Because they created it they infiltrate into the different government offices, different organizations, different businesses, different media groups, and then they control it, 
and then they decide what is going to be in public and what is not. So they, they don't want me in public because I don't represent what they want the general public to know. So I actually speak to the general population, the people, and they don't like that. Well, then you say, well, why do all these women keep supporting the, this terrorist group of women when these women, like my neighbor, right, she's all by herself, she's a single heterosexual female, her daughter is a single heterosexual female, why would they want to attack me who is for women's rights? Because they don't want the, a female such as myself to have rights for females. They don't want me to be the one representing what it means to have rights for women. It's to be controlled by the Catholic Church. So they don't want that because they know that that when I have a business, I'm going to actually provide services. So the Catholic Church doesn't want a business to provide services. So then we say, well, why wouldn't we want a business to provide services? Because the Catholic Church then it, uh, gets more money. It gives them the right to steal, to steal and take somebody's money and property and so forth. Your, your property includes your money, the money that you earn. That's your property. So, so then you say, well, why would so many women who aren't Catholic join in or uh, allow themselves to be recruited by this system, by this Catholic system? Well, because they got benefits. So take, for instance, uh, Judith Sanders. She was working in law, you know, at the law office and so she was getting, you know, benefits, like they call kickbacks, but it's also, there's money laundering. So the, the money is being funneled to them through illegal activity that they claim is legitimate. But because the, the result is such that they then become addicted and then they justify in their head why they deserve to steal somebody's property so that they can go live it up, which is illegal. This is dangerous. This is very dangerous. So it became so greedy that they became terrorists. But they were trained. The Catholic women are trained in that. And so the women who got jobs in the legal system, they had to conform, or what they call convert. So if you don't convert to what they want, then you're going to be tortured and terrorized and, and you're going to lose everything. So I was just living on my own, and that, that's my right. Millions of people live on their own, that's their right. So when you think about a man living on their own, that's their right. Millions of men step away from their parents and they are independent and they live on their own. It could be a heterosexual man, it could be a bisexual man, it could be a asexual man. They are living on their own. Now, who decides which one of those men are going to be targeted and destroyed? Well, the Catholic Church. So these men that come from the Catholic schools, along with the women, they then target these men out in the community and then they don't have their job anymore or they don't have their, you know, their house anymore. They just keep terrorizing them until they don't have anything anymore. Well, this is cruel. This is third world. I proved it with evidence and I'm speaking up for the people. and. The people who converted, and perhaps they didn't realize that they converted, they became like sexually violent. And how did that happen? 
because the Catholic Church teaches the men to be rapists and that the women are supposed to be terrorists. And so when you get into that environment, if you speak up, the first response is to snap. But the, there's also other methods that they use, such as ignoring, ignoring, there's also mocking. It doesn't just start off that they snap and attack you, you know, in a way that would physically harm you because you could get a heart attack or, you know, they would ramp up so much that then you wouldn't want to go to work there anymore, which is, they've used that. They make the environment so harsh that you would become sick to even go there, right? You would dread it and then you would quit because you got sick. And some people stay and then they get a heart attack. That's their goal, it's illegal, it, it's provable, and it's murder, it's homicide. And these women created this legal system that is non-functional. And the problem is, is they sit there all day long claiming they didn't do anything wrong. And I know about this because I, grew up with, you know, a parent, my mom has, those of you who have been watching, she went to Sacred Heart, and she learned tactics from the nuns or the teachers who were trained by the Catholics. I don't know if they were all nuns, they could have, there could have been priests, and, or seminaries, or even noviates, and they learned this, and since we don't know, or the average person outside of the Catholic Church doesn't know these tactics that they're teaching them, which are actually terrorist tactics, terrorist operations, and so it's a shock when we're around that. Well, I just kept getting shocked as a child on a regular basis, and it just kept making me sick, weak, physically weak. And so I knew this is just... So horrific where did this come from mom why do you keep doing this and so I learned and and it has nothing to do with the community um, doing this network terrorism to my family members that was just part of their operation even though I haven't seen them for 20 years or so or take um, you know plus minus, they justify that in their head because that's part of the tactic. So rather than the women in the government that aren't Catholic outsmarting them years ago because they were already doing this before I went to the courthouse in 2008. So the women didn't outsmart them. They did, Even Hillary Clinton didn't outsmart them. What you would do, even uh, even Ruth Bader Ginsburg would not outsmart them. That's how dumb these women are. They didn't come together and go, you know what? Let's create this combat tactical team and find out what this is about. What are these women doing? Why are they doing this? Where are they coming from? Who's who's telling them to do this and let, let's make sure that women in this country have rights. Let's be brave women. No. They joined in. Ruth was probably having sex with Justice Scalia and they were probably going on secret trips, you know? And then you see Judith Sanders and, okay, well, she got a job at um, Melvin Belli's law office and she looks just like his fifth wife, you know, and you probably figure, hey, if I want to keep my job as an attorney, I'm going to have to have sex with this man or who knows what she was doing or she was fantasizing about the guy and thought, hey, maybe I'm going to be a sixth wife and then she got angry because he wanted to be with Nancy Ho, you know. We don't really know unless they tell us the story, but you could see how it reflected what they were doing at the courthouse when I was there. 
And Julie Weeks, who was also a litigant against the same vet practice as I am, I am. My case is still active, by the way. I filed a, a stay of proceeding, notice of stay of proceedings. And and you could imagine that uh, she had uh, Julie Weeks had already experienced horrific heinous medical Ponzi schemes and terrorist attacks. She had already survived herself. Now, I don't know how long she'd been living here in this community. I moved here in 1995. She had already experienced really horrific, uh, um, you know, traumatizing experience with a dentist, a female dentist. And then her mother was also being targeted through medical as well. And, and then when I got to servicing seniors, from Rossmore, who live in Rossmore and also outside of Rossmore, they also had been targeted. So this is something that they had already been doing, and these top women never created a combative tactical team and said, we need to be strong and brave women and make sure that this country is a, a country that is for women's rights and that, uh, that we need to find out where this uh, clandestine terrorist regime is teaching them, where are they, uh, you know, where are they meeting to plot to discuss these horrific, types of attacks out in the community on the unsuspecting people in the community. So I, I did the work and I proved it. And they keep applying this annihilation, alienation, um, condemnation, damnation, you know, that's what they're applying to me. And so all I can say is that the more people that learn what this is, that you prepare yourself and be brave, and that you inform others, because when you inform others, they're going to be, you know, defensive, to confuse, to, uh, this is unbelievable. And the, the reason I say that is because one of my senior clients who was supporting Obama and had also contributed large amounts of money to his campaign, by the time he was running um, for the second time in office, his second term, she had already figured out that he is a complete fraudster. And I didn't understand it. And she kept telling me, and I was like, what do you mean? He did this, he did that. And so I voted for him again from where I was being held captive. Believe it or not, I was duped. And Obama is in on it. He is part of this cruel Catholic MO that's committing genocide, purging. And so... The, the preparation and the being brave once you start informing others is, is vital because you have to be prepared to respond back in a way that keeps you strong. So then you have to outsmart and then we have to regain our rights. And what does it mean by regaining our rights? Well, that's our constitution. It's about individual rights. That's what our Founding Fathers are for. And so you have the right to be acknowledged as an individual. The Catholic Church does not teach that. Each person has been stripped of their identity, and that's why they are using that very dangerous psychology. If you read my part four, they are applying that 
in our mental health services where they strip you of your true identity and they lie about your mental state. It's provable, and I proved it with evidence. Now, why doesn't President Trump speak in public on our behalf? Because I'm speaking not only for me at this point, I'm speaking for the other Encina victims and the court victims and the people out in the community, the seniors, the children, the moms, the dads, the Protestants, the uh, re you know, the Reformed Protestants, the um, Jews, the Armenians, the Greeks, the um, Polish, the, you could name all kinds of Germans. We're being, the Japanese, the Chinese, the, they're, they're being threatened at such a level that if you decide to provide services, you're going to be on the hit list again, again, and then elimination process begins. That's illegal. That's totally illegal, okay? Now, if the United States is having an issue about population control, then that's a different issue. Talk about it. Don't mix it in with um, keep having, um, you know, human trafficking and um, promiscuity and all this other stuff, but don't talk about male sex addiction and then claim that they have a right to secretly destroy you because we don't like you. That's illegal. And, and that's what the part of the problem is, is that they're promoting uh, that a female is a sex object and, on the Republican side and that on the Democrat side that the female heterosexual is to be eliminated completely. And it, it's, it's really sickening. Then when you start to talk about the white men who protect females, I mean, they're pretty much, you know, on the top of the hit list. It's that scary. All right, so thank you for watching. And I'm going to keep um, communicating with the public. And the reason is because they want to stop me. They don't want to acknowledge the person who is for the United States. So Obama is not for the United States. He, he wasn't for the United States. He wasn't for women's rights. He was for hybrid women from the Catholic Church and he won't admit it. And so all day long he's going to attack the Republicans, but he's never going to say that the traditional Catholics are in the Republican side and so it's like the opposite. It's like this side is Catholic, a war against this side of Catholic, that's war against that side. So it just keeps going like that, just like in their schools. All right, thank you for watching. And hopefully Winnie can get help. He's just not doing that well. And I need as many people as possible to be brave. I emailed Bernie. And I said, you know, contact me, talk with me, tell my story. You know, Bernie claims to be, he is so brave for this country, you know, so come talk to me. I emailed, I emailed Bernie. All right, thank you, signing off. This video is about, uh, at about 30 minutes. All right, thank you. It's Thursday, August 27th. 2020 at about 4.40 in the afternoon. All right, thank you. Signing off.